Breeze. Two News reporter Patricia Santos also here in Midtown to show us uh, even more of this terrible damage. Patricia? Well, last night's winds were so strong, strong enough to knock down this very large oak tree. You can see it even knocked down the uh, the part of the brick fence here and also the wooden fence on the side here, uh, bringing the entire limb across to 41st Street. Uh, you can see it's pretty much blocking the roadway here. Now, we've been telling you about a family that was stuck in the mud because they were trying to go around uh, the tree here through the their yard there. They were actually trying to make an international flight. They're on a cab now. They're on their way to the airport, but you can see they had to call in help here. Now across a green country or, or across uh, Midtown Tulsa, uh, it's pretty much the same. Take a look. This is a video uh, near 25th and Riverside. We showed up just as Tulsa police officers were getting there to remove a very large tree on the roadway. Uh, they're seeing a lot of limbs in streets all over town. They tell us they're urging drivers to slow down. It's still very dark out. Uh, there's no power and the st street lights are out. It's very difficult to see the road ahead of you. So stay home if you can avoid it. Uh, if you can avoid going out in this condition, uh, leave home with plenty of time on your way to work this morning in case some roads are closed. Now public works and fire crews are scrambling right now to get things cleaned up. They're cleaning up major streets first, but there's no guarantee that this cleanup will be done by rush hour. Uh, so there's no street lights or anything like that, like that to illuminate them. So the biggest thing is, is, is we need people to slow down, stay home if they possibly can, because uh, the streets are just dangerous right now with all the debris that's on the ground. Now, yeah, police telling us they were backed up on calls. They're about 30 minutes away from being caught up on calls right now. They're urging you right now to avoid 31st Street between Utica and Lewis. We're going to show you why coming up later in the newscast. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you. All right, thank you, Patty. Well, we have some new information into our newsroom.